Hi everyone, my name is Juan Morales and in this video we're going to be talking about a small modification that I'm proposing for the Expert Advisor Sculpey before. When I was working with this Expert Advisor and doing some back testing, there was a point that I was getting high percentage of losses. The reason was this variable here that I had set to 0 0.2. This variable represents the ratio between stop loss and take profit level. And I'm going to give you a quick explanation about this concept just in case one of you guys don't understand the concept of the ratio. Okay, let's say that we have this graph. For example, this is our trend. And at this point, we predict that our trend goes up. You know? So we decided to place an order. This is this line here is our, our order. So we set our stop loss. It's going to be, for example, te 10 points. And we have a ratio that is 1 to 1. So this is going to be our take profit level. And if the ratio is 1 to 1, our take profit level is going to be 10 points. If the case is 2 to 1, our take profit is going to be 20 points and if the ratio is for example 3 to 1 our profit is going to be 30 points compared with the 10 points that we have as stop loss and what would happen if instead of setting a value as 1 for take profit they just set a value for example 0 0.2 to 1 then if the stop loss is let's say like 10 points the take profit only will be two points in this situation so this is very straightforward concept i did a research to find the best ratio for stop loss and take profit levels and all the experts they recommend to use two to one or three to one ratio so my idea is to make this configuration as simple as possible for the user so we can avoid the situation that the person, the customer set a wrong value that can potentially harm his account so I decided to reduce the number of choices for this variable so let me show you what I'm proposing to improve this set of variables okay this is what I did I create a numeration type with only four options for the user 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and 4 to 1 and I also adding like a small comment for just in case the user run the optimization tool and the system recommend to use let's say 1 to 1 ratio so that way the user can see like this as a red flag and this be careful when running the expert advisor with this one to one ratio or four to one the point is that sometimes the user don't have enough skill to set a large number of variables and values so i think for me it's better if the user only has these two choices as the one recommended by the experts and two more just in case the person want to take a little bit of the risk so now let me show you how did this drop down menu so i created first um enumeration type with four values one two three four and also i created a switch statement that assign the value to from 1 to 4 to the ratio variable and one more thing is that for example I didn't want to include any other value like 2.5 because this algorithm is a scalper and it makes like short trades and a number in between 2 and 3 like 2.5 wouldn't make any difference at all so that is why I only include the recommended values so if you have any question feel free to contact us 
Thank you for watching.